afternoon. This is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. We're pleased to be with you for another video. I've had a lot of questions of how I've made my handhold in my knife for a bow drill. One of the nice things when you're out in the bush is being able to make a fire with nothing. If I lost everything, I could make a fire. I always have my knife with me. So this handhold is critical. And uh, if I can make this and carry it with me all the time because I always have my knife with me, then it makes my job a lot easier out there. Now, this is not my idea. Uh, a good friend of mine, Bill Qualls, showed me this, had it on his knife, and I've replicated that. So thank you, Bill, because it is really an awesome mod. What I'm going to use is I'm going to do this on my Mora, and we're also going to do one for Tam. And we're using some little one-quarter tablespoon, or quarter teaspoon, quarter something there, uh, little aluminum measuring spoons. And we're simply going to just take the top off of this measuring spoon, we'll cut it out, and then we'll file it down a little bit. We'll drill a hole right here in the blade so that that will fit into the hole, epoxy it in, let it set up, then we'll finish it off by filing it. We will touch it up a little bit so it looks better, and that'll be the job. So get your knives and follow along with us on this do-it-yourself project. We hope that you enjoy it, and uh, if, if you want to do this mod, then you'll have a way to make bow drills out in the bush whenever you're out there. Okay, this is a real lightweight aluminum, so I'm just taking some shears, and I'm going to cut a circle on this spoon. These are actually my wife's good goat nail shears, so I'm going to have to sharpen them when I'm done or she's going to get mad at me. Okay, and we cut that off, and then we'll take a small file, and we'll file that right out. So let me get that file. Okay, and then we'll just take that file, go around, and file the edge of that spoon until it's nice and round. So let me file that, and we'll get back with you. All right, so we filed this down, got a nice round end to that spoon, and basically it's just a parabolic cup. In fact, it would be interesting to see if this had the right parabola to do fires from the sun. Maybe we'll test that out. The next step that we're going to do is to drill a hole into the mora handle. We have to go down to the tang. Now, mora is a full tang, so we're going to go to the tang, but we're going to be careful what we're using is called a bi-bit. This is a bi-metal bit, and uh, it's called a bi-bit because it has a center that fits in here, and then it screws up onto that. So this will give me a pilot to go into my mower. So I'm going to put this pilot down. I'm going to drill a hole in there very carefully and make sure it's right exactly where I want it. Once that I get that done, I'm going to use this bit backwards. This has very rough teeth on it, and even though this is a rubberized plastic handle, I'm going to do it backward until I get down a little bit. Then I'll turn it around, and once I get turned around, I'm going to drill a little faster, but pretty carefully, so I don't actually, because this is a metal bit, actually go through that tang. So we're going to get down to the tang, and you'll feel the difference, because it's going to be cut through metal instead of cutting through the, uh, the rubber handle. So let's get started on that drilling. And we'll be back with you. All right, so now the trick is to figure out how to get this piece out of here. Uh, we're going to have to drill a little bit and maneuver and, and wire around. So we may have to get a different size drill bit. And I'm just going to drill a few holes through here until I can clean this up. And all we're doing right now is removal. Use a little bit of a smaller drill bit, and then I'll use a bigger drill bit again. And go in there and take some of that stock out. 
once we get it pretty relatively done, we can just ream it out. I know there's probably a lot of other tools I could use to do this. This is what I have available. So it works, and that's what matters. We're going to uh, take our cup, our little spoon, and see how that fits. And that should fit right in there, and that's perfect. Just exactly the size that we need. The next thing that we're going to do then is we're going to score. Now you can see I've already done that a little bit with that uh, drill. I'm going to score with a fine drill bit that tang up a little bit. It's got some scores in there already so that'll hold. I'm also going to rough the back of this up with a file and that'll just give that JB weld a little bit better adherence. So let me do that and uh, then we'll weld this into place. Okay so what I'm using here is JB weld and basically I'm going to mix this up I'll mix it right here on this paper will be okay uh, you want to mix equal parts 50-50 of the JB weld there's the steel and then this is the hardener and so the hardener always comes out gray the steel itself comes out like black and I'm going to mix two pieces in there you see that about the same size I want to make sure you get enough in there. It's, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's got to be pretty close. Now I'm just going to stir that together and use a uh, little spoon here. And this will turn a nice uniform gray color when it's done. So I'm going to mix that up for a minute. Okay, and you can see that turning gray. Now this takes about six to eight hours to harden, and it, it actually needs to set up a little bit once that I put it in the hole before I put the spoon in there because you don't want it just pouring out the edges on you so I'm going to stir that up for about a minute so what I'm going to do I'm going to scoop that JB Weld up you can see that stuff is still pretty thin I'm just going to start to put it inside my hole until that hole is pretty well filled back up so you can see whatever we took out of there, we're just putting back in steel. So we're not going to have any problems. I'm going to make sure that that's really down in the bottom of that hole. I want it to grab on to that tang, and that will reinforce the tang, as well as give me a place to put this spoon. So we're going to get that up to where it's almost, well, I guess about two-thirds full there. So we'll test it out in a second. What we want is that when we put this in, it's going to push out a little bit of that weld. And I don't think I've got just quite enough out in there yet. I'll put a little bit more in. This stuff isn't too expensive. $4 a box or $4 for the two tubes. Alright, there we go. Just about up the top there. So what I'm going to do is I'll gently set this in. Lay it into position. And... Theoretically, I want this to lay right below the handle of the knife. There we go. And you can see as I push it that that JB weld comes up, and that's exactly what I want. So I'll just wipe off the little bit of excess there for a second. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to smooth this out later on with the grinder, and we'll show you that process on Tam's knife. So this will be just fine. So there we go. All ready to go. We'll let that harden up for about six to eight hours. Actually, we'll probably leave it till tomorrow and then finish it off. So we've got this one done. Now let's go take a look at Tam's and see how hers is because hers was set up last night. So it should be ready to do the final grinding and the refilling of any little imperfections around the blade. All right, now yesterday we did Tam's knife and you can see we put the... Uh, the spoon in. She wanted a little bit bigger spoon. Got a little piece of plastic here that's still on there. It's okay. We're going to fix that in a few minutes. But you can see that the spoon was just a little bit bigger than the depth to the tang of the knife. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a grinder and we're going to grind that down so it's nice and level. Fit in there real well. And then we're going to put some liquid duct tape in here 
to fill any little gap that there is left over. So we're going to go next to the grinder and show you how to do that. And that will get that handle back in shape so that when she has the knife in her hand, then it's comfortable for her to use. see now that that's nice, it's much better conformed around the blade, that there's no sharp edges, and so all we have to do is to go ahead and fill in a couple little gaps that were left here. We're going to do that with some liquid uh, duct tape. So let's go back into the table, finish that off, and uh, very light sandpapering over the handle just to finish it, and we should be in good shape. All right. This is a liquid electrical tape. I think I said liquid duct tape before, but it's liquid electrical tape. And what it does, you can uh, brush it on and it will form up like electrical tape. So we'll take the top off of this. Pretty cool stuff. has a little applicator in it. And it's almost like an epoxy rosin kind of thing. And what I'm going to do is just put some in to those holes that are left over there. Paint it on. And that'll set up and clean up any little imperfections in there. I'll paint a little bit of that in there. And again, this is more cosmetic than really necessary. I could have left just the uh, JB weld come up through there. And that would have worked just as well. It'll drip that right in there. Sometimes it's easier to use a toothpick or something than the applicator that comes with this. I'll finish this off with a uh, with a little bit of fine, fine, fine sandpaper, a wet paper. Even though this is a plastic rubber handle, it'll mark it a little bit, but it'll clean it up pretty nicely, make it look a little bit better. So we're just about done here, and we're going to let that set up, and we'll be back with you. Well, here's the mod, and it's finished up, dried. Looks pretty good. You know, like I said, we could do a little bit of sanding on here if we wanted to with some sandpaper, but I was hoping to get this video up for you guys. So Now normally you would carry this the opposite. This being a neck knife goes into the sheath either way. I would carry this out in the bush like this. And then when I need it, I can just pull that out. And there's the handhold. Okay. When you use it, put it in, and then you're ready to use it as a handhold. So that's the mod, and this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hope you've enjoyed this little knife mod. And you can do this on any knife, it doesn't have to be a mora, wood knife, plastic handle, it doesn't really matter. Hope you've enjoyed this. Join us again for another video, and we're going to give this over to Tam, and let's see how it works.